Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Thank you guys so much for participating in that little poll I did on my channel community page where I just basically asked you guys if you guys would like to see this video. If you guys hit it 25 likes within a day, um, I would make it for you. And you guys actually hit like 40 something, I think it was like, no, I think it was like 37, but still, other than that, you guys actually killed it. So if you guys are new, go ahead and leave a subscription down below like the video we're on our way to 3k we're trying to hit it as quick as i po as quickly as possible hopefully 3k by my birthday which by the way my birthday is october 29th so we can hit 3k before then that'd be crazy but anyways in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make this monstrosity of a farm it, it's you don't have to use these exact blocks but you do need the glass you need the villagers and you do need beds um the iron blocks you don't need i just use them because it's easier to count out for my eyeballs because i don't want to get confused whenever i'm trying to count out blocks um but yeah everything that you need is actually in this chest right here for this build i'm going to go ahead and leave it on screen for a second that's everything you need besides the iron blocks you can make them out of any resources you want you can make it out of dirt if you want to it doesn't have to be out of actually iron so other than all that, I'm going to go ahead and jump into my other world so I can build it with you guys from scratch and we can do it all together. So I'll be right back in like now. Alrighty guys, so here I am on this other world so I can build it actually with you guys. So what we're going to do first, we're going to obviously mark out a 4x4 four four square and you're obviously going to fill it in. I just didn't fill it in because I wanted to mark out the actual uh, column where I'm going to be putting it. So from this part right here, whenever you have your little platform... You're going to go ahead and do a little two, like, you're going to make this design on the platform. So you have a four block, like, you know, area inside the inside the glass tube. So what we're going to do now is that you're going to go up 25 blocks um, with this glass. Now, it's 25 from, wait, hold on, let me do that. Okay, so it's 25 from this block right here. So one and then two. And you're going to go up 25, and then whenever you do that, I'll see you guys whenever you're done with that. Okay, guys, so since you're done with this little part right here, what we're going to go ahead and do is you're going to come to the... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do this right now. Is that you're going to delete this bottom layer right here. You're going to put your chest in, and then you're going to get in here. So you probably just wasted some glass, and I'm sorry. But you're going to go ahead and stop flying. So I'm on the ground, right? So this is survival. You're going to crouch, place it into the chest, place it into that one. Then you're going to jump up here. And you're going to place it into that one. So they're all connected. So any loot you get is flowing into the hoppers, into the chest. Just, just a little pro tip. And you want to close this up right here. But we're not going to close it up yet because we have to set up our lava. So what we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and place your little signs right here. On the one, it's actually on the one, two, three, fourth block up. And you're going to somehow, you're going to fly up. You're going to go up one, two, three. You're going to go up three blocks, and you're going to place lava in all four corners. Now, with the signs, what that does is that's going to help prevent the lava from flowing down. So the iron golems and cats will go ahead and burn to death, and you won't have to worry about any part of it. They'll just die. Okay? So now that that's all done, actually, it's not done because you have to put on your carpet. Sorry. You have to put on your carpet. Um, on top of the hoppers because you don't want any uh, loot getting stuck whenever it's full or any XP getting stuck as well. So we're going to go ahead and close that up. And now we're going to head up to the top. Now this part is pretty important. So you're going to make, you're going to go ahead and go out six blocks from this block right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, go one more. Seven. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this little tunnel area to make sure that the water won't overflow. I'm pretty sure it won't because water travels seven blocks and it stops at the eighth block. So, let's grab our water bucket and we'll do it together so we can all see. Right? So, okay. So, I was wrong. <laughs> Obviously, that's a huge fail. So, it's okay. We're going to go ahead and place it right here and like that. So, boom. Water flows to the eighth block and it stops. So you're gonna head and go. You're gonna go ahead and do this on every side. Then you're gonna fill in the um, space in between. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you guys, and I'll, you know, be able to describe it better whenever um, I actually do it myself. Okay, guys. So as you can see, I have it all mapped out for you guys. So now you're going to want to go ahead and take it from this block, go over, all the way to this block right here, and you're gonna create a giant square. So you're gonna fill in this spot 
that spot, that spot, and that spot for this bottom layer, and you'll have your first layer done. Okay, guys, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go around the outside layer with some glass. Now, we're going to go up two blocks um, for this little layer right here. So two blocks all the way around, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Okay, guys, so after you get your glass done, you're going to go ahead and come to the center glass right here, and you're just going to walk straight, place a bucket, go to this one, go ahead, walk straight, place a bucket, go to this one, place a bucket, and finally, but not least, this one as well. All this is doing is just you're just checking your water current. So if you know that all this water here is just going to the edge, you've done it properly. So good job on that. If you didn't, just make sure that if it comes over one block or this one comes over one block, just extend it the pad one block in each direction. Like, if this side's coming over one block, extend extend this side one block. But if they're all perfect like this, you've done it right. If it doesn't go all the way to the block, you've done it too long, so shorten it up one block. But now that your water flows and water currents are correct, we're going to go ahead and place in our corner pieces. You're just going to place three blocks in the corners like this on all four sides, or all four corners, actually, not all four sides, um, just like this. And you're going to go ahead and place your water bucket in top, and you're going to delete those four blocks after you place it, just to give it that cool look. Go ahead and place it up there. Place it. Boom. Okay. So now that that's all done, we're going to go ahead and place in our other water sources for our first floor. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and place one, two in the middle. And that should bring everything to the point. You're going to place the other two in the middle. Your other one. And finally, but not least, the last one. And now you see that it leaves like these little four corners. All you're going to do is just come right here, place this one, place this one, place this one, and this one. And then here and here. And there's still one more, so you're just going to add one more water source. It doesn't really matter where. I'm going to go ahead and add it here, and it should fill it in. See how it comes to a point decided there, so the flow is going straight uh, to the point. Straight, straight, and straight. <laughs> and now our first floor should be all filled up with water. So that's your first floor. Now we're going to go ahead and create the chamber for the actual villagers themselves. Very, very simple. You're just going to build it above this part right here. You're just going to go up about, uh, I'd say probably about three blocks. Now, you're going to figure out where you're, okay, so we're going to do this right here. Okay, so now, <clears throat> all we're going to do is you just create a little platform. You're just going to actually build up on the actual uh, platform, just in glass. Very, very simple. Very, very simple, just like this. Go ahead and knock out all four corners as I do here, create another layer so they can't jump out and run around in your water and you know, you end up killing your villagers. And you could, you could go ahead and place it like this or you could use half slabs, but you need a solid block. So just in case mobs do spawn above or anything, they spawn on glass or anything like that, they have no way to get in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it empty for now until, I mean, this is pretty much done. If you guys just wanna do one layer, this is it. You can go ahead and do it like this, but if you want to add another layer, just make sure whenever you add another layer, it's higher than this chamber, and you have a hole um, big enough for this, or you can just raise this up to the second layer. So if you wanted to, you can go ahead and start your second layer, like literally right here, um, to give it a two-block gap, but make sure this is in the middle of your second layer, not your first layer, because they will spawn in the bottom of the first one or the second one. Um, it You can really do it either way. Uh, your first layer or second layer it doesn't improve any spawn rates, but it does just help, you know, it gives them more places to spawn with villagers actually in the chamber. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to my other one where I have two layers and show you guys the actual spawns and spawn rates of the iron golems. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and forgot about the whole uh, villagers and beds. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm going to go ahead and clear my inventory of everything. Go ahead and grab my stone bricks back. And so what we're going to do for this, you're going to come to this block right here. You just want to place six blocks on the outside. And you want to place a second row of them on all four sides. So in total, you're going to have 24 blocks. Just simply one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, my bad. I forgot the second row. <laughs> I just said that. So you want to go ahead and do this. I'm sorry if my voice sounds very off or it just sounds like I'm having trouble talking. It's because I have a sore throat and I do have, I don't know, some kind of like ulcer on my throat i don't know what it is but it it hurts so bad and it hurts to swallow and it just feels like i have freaking a sore throat it, it, it feels like i have strep but i feel perfectly fine so it's terrible 
suffering here. But anyways, besides all that, you're just going to grab any color bed. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to grab the gray beds. Now what we're going to do is you're just going to place these 24 beds on the blocks just like this. This is just going to give the villagers inside the chamber um, places to – so they can actually set their home or set their sleep so they so they know it's like an actual – if it's like a pretend village pretty much. So they can um, just, you know, always, I guess, produce cats and iron golems. It's just like – it's basically just to signify that it's a village here um, to the villagers. So we're just going to go ahead and delete these blocks afterwards. This may be a little challenging for some of you. Um, especially, I mean, for some of you, actually, all of you, because you guys are building this on survival, hopefully. So, it, it's going to be pretty challenging because these blocks are actually underneath, but you can do it. Um, you want to get rid of them because iron golems and cats can spawn on top of the beds because they see the uh, stone bricks as a uh, spawning platform. So, you want to go ahead and get rid of them. So, you have this right here, floating beds, which is nice, which is really nice. So, um, another tip I want to mention to you guys, if you guys aren't going to build a second layer, you guys are just going to keep this first layer and put your villagers in here. You want to go ahead and raise up this glass another level because the cats can spawn um, like halfway on, like they can spawn right here and they will land on this glass block 100% of the time. So if you go ahead and add another layer, they cannot do that. Let's not fall. Boom. Um... And also, like, you don't want anything to just, like, clog up your uh, spawning rates or anything like that. You want to keep a steady flow of cats and iron golems. Now, cats do spawn primarily in this farm. Uh, it is, it, it's not that bad of a string farm, so if you guys need string for any reason, um, I've always had problems finding string in my friggin' survival worlds or... Um, anything like that it does produce a lot of cats so if you guys need to do that cat challenge where it's like befriend 20 cats this is the perfect perfect um farm for you or if you guys just want cats millions of them you guys can go ahead and create this farm as well so i'm gonna go ahead and put the villagers inside and i'm going to show you guys um that's the zombie villager let me find the villager and i'll be right back <laughs> found the villager okay so we're good okay so all we're going to do, we're just going to place 24 um, villagers in here uh, just because we want to match the beds. So you, you can put 24 beds out here and put like three villages in here. But I think the more villages you have, the better the spawn rates are for cats and iron golems. So go ahead and put as many as you can in here uh, so you guys can get the best possible spawn rate. So we're going to go ahead and count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. As you see, there's already cats spawning in here. Um, that's, that's a good sign that we know the farm is actually working. Now, it may take a little bit to get your first iron golem or a few iron golems. That's just because it's, it's just going to have to... I guess calibrate that there's no villages around and as you see you can get a wandering uh, villager just randomly spawn so you can get some of those um, good old uh, good old llamas but yeah so as you guys can see there's a lot of cats and there's these little llamas and wandering villagers so <clears throat> like I was saying uh, it will take a little bit to get your first iron golems or a few iron golems that's because the game is trying to force spawn them into a village and any closer beds than these right here. So if you have any villages close to your actual uh, iron golem farm that you just created, that's not a good thing. You want to go ahead and go destroy that village. So I did have lava here for them, but I actually uh, went ahead and poured water down here, if you guys don't remember. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this so you guys can actually see the effect that it has on these guys. So one, two, three. It's right here. We'll go ahead and place that there and place it right here wait yeah i did it okay boom looks like that so let's get back up here now it, i don't know how fast the iron golem can spawn it's all based on luck really but you can get some pretty good iron golem spawn uh spawns on this now what is happening here so there's a bad water flow current here so we're gonna go ahead and fix that that's one thing you want to watch out for as well it's just bad water flow current so i oh, i messed up right there Boom, boom. Let's just go ahead and delete that. So it should be working now perfectly fine. Yes, it's working perfectly fine. Okay, so 
Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, go ahead and leave a like. If you guys are new, make sure you subscribe and comment new down below so you guys can get a heart, like, and respond back from me. But anyways, this is your boy, Kilfee, signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.